Hi, I'm Juanita Dugan. Uh, I was special assistant to Ronald Reagan and the Office of Public Liaison, and my role there was to be the liaison to a lot of the conservative movement. Later, I was special assistant to the president and executive secretary to the Domestic Policy Council. And that role uh, involved vetting decisions that were moving to the president. The Domestic Policy Council served him very well, as did the Economic Policy Council, which, which actually operated in the same way, except with the other half of the cabinet. It was really the quality control mechanism of the White House. It was a way to make sure that every decision was vetted. Every person who might have a role in executing a, a decision that the President of the United States might have made was at the table. So you knew where the pitfalls were, you knew what the risks were, the president knew what the risks were, but he was given a completely vetted option. And it was unique at the time, and it served him very, very well. Our leadership in the world was diminishing every day. The American economy was falling apart. Ronald Reagan came to Washington at a moment in history that was incredibly pivotal. It was literally like his presidency saved the country. He also saved the world from the Soviet Union and nuclear holocaust. And in my view, he's the most important president ever to hold the office. I think part of his success was because he was incredibly disciplined. People call him the great communicator. It wasn't just a gift that he had. It was something that he practiced all the time. He never stopped practicing. What I haven't talked about, of course, was his focus on free markets and low taxes and regulatory reform. I think he's the only president who managed to shut down a regulatory agency. That created an era of prosperity. He created 20 million new jobs in 1981 to 1989. I wouldn't be the same person I am if I hadn't had the opportunity and the honor to work for President Reagan. When you worked in the Reagan White House, the administration and the president had a way of making you feel like what you were doing was the most important thing in the world. And I've never been in another environment like that. And I really, frankly, haven't ever seen another administration that was able to inspire and instill that kind of gratitude, the feeling of honor, um, the majesty of the office. If there was anything he understood, it was the majesty of the office, not of himself, but of the office. His discipline is something I've tried to emulate in every role I've had for the rest of my life. And that was a gift 